Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen on Friday told Congress the U.S. is expected to hit its debt limit next Thursday. The current national debt stands at more than $31 trillion. The country's total borrowing limit is $31.4 trillion. Yellen informed lawmakers that once the limit is reached, the Treasury will start taking, quote, extraordinary measures to prevent a default, like delaying some payments. Let's bring in Javier David. He's managing editor of business and markets at Axios and a CBS News contributor. What happens if the U.S. hits that debt ceiling? Well, um, what would happen is um, you would may very well have a scenario that some have warned about for years, but never quite uh, managed to come to fruition that uh, the U.S. will default on its debt. That means bills won't get paid. Interest payments won't get made, um, and it could be borderline catastrophic for the U.S. economy. What does that mean, especially now that we're seeing some recovery in the markets? Well, what we, we're coming out of a year in which we saw an extraordinary amount of volatility, um, particularly in the bond markets, which has sustained a historic route. What these sort of debates usually do is they kind of force investors to calibrate what may happen and what may happen is if the government doesn't pay its bills um interest rates are projected to rise and we're coming out of like i said an environment in which we had a tremendous amount of uh, selling of bonds put upward pressure on interest rates and you know the investors at this point don't need yet another thing to be either upset about or reasons to sell and this is certainly a reason to sell what tools does the Treasury Department have to delay a potential default? So there's a lot of sort of shifting around of accounts. They sort of prioritize certain bills over others. Um, Janet Yellen's letter today basically stated that um, the borrowing limit, which is a little bit over $31 trillion, will be hit on Thursday. Um, so now this is what they start doing. They resort to what they call extraordinary measures. And again, that's just sort of shifting money out of certain accounts, prioritizing certain things over others. But the real drop dead date or the X date, as uh, some refer to it as, uh, could be in the fall, but um, as Treasury exhausts all of its options, but it could happen even earlier, maybe as early as June. For context and in closing, what does that tell us about spending and the budget under the current administration? Yeah, I mean, this time it, we sort of in the markets tend to ignore a lot of the sturm and drang about the debt ceiling until, of course, it looks like there's going to be some other crisis. But this time it's different for a lot of reasons. You have a polarized Congress, you have really recalcitrant incoming Republicans. There are no mood to compromise and Democrats who sort of took for granted that we could continue to kick the spending and entitlement can down the road. It's been too many times without really any real concessions. And I think now we're sort of coming to a head. The chickens are, proverbial chickens are coming on the roost. Javier David, thank you.